welcome back to our channel. My name is Drew if you're new here and today starts my 75 soft challenge. So I'm going to try to document for 75 days um, my day, my eating, what I feel, what's going on, like just everything. The tea on 75 soft. So basically I am the world's worst at keeping something like with habits. Like I'll say, okay, I'm going to work out and do this and I'll do it for a good like month or two and then i stop and so the main reason why i'm doing 75 um, soft not hard um is because i want to create habits within myself so like personally i've never had a hard time getting in the groove of a diet and recently i feel like i have no motivation to do anything i've been working out for a good i think two to three months or two months i'm not too sure on the timeline um but i've been being very consistent with that and so i thought if I'm putting in the work at the gym, if I'm putting in the work to do those things, why am I not eating good? Why am I not, you know, helping myself? And it's not that I want to lose weight. It's just I want to feel better. And when you eat better, you feel better. And when you feel better, you feel like you look better. And so that's just my main goal here. I'm not really trying to lose weight with this like this um, challenge. I'm really mainly trying to just create good habits within myself. Because like I said, I used to could get on a diet and do it and had no problems. And now I just have no motivation. Like absolutely none so with my 75 soft challenge if you want to join me i'm starting today it's august 15th 2022 um if you want to start with me you sure can i am on facebook tiktok and kind of instagram but mainly my facebook and tiktok i'm going to be posting about it i love that on my facebook group i can talk with you guys and we can share pictures back and forth and actually like get to know each other um so like this morning i posted my coffee and then I asked y'all to like comment down below what you had for coffee or what you had for breakfast and people put theirs. So it was just really helpful and I thought it was really fun. Um, but yeah, this is just the first day of getting started. I'm going to show you guys what I am using. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be using the app. Sorry, I was texting Ashley. Um, I'm using the app MyFitnessPal. So I have never counted calories as a diet. I think I did when I was like a teenager. Like, you know, you say you're counting calories, but I really don't know if I actually did. Um, so they gave me 1,690 calories based off of my weight. I do weigh 140. I've gained a little bit back. I was 125 and now I'm 140, which is fine because I feel like I still look fine. Like I like the way that I look. I'm more confident in myself now that I'm at this size, but like I said, I want to feel better. So my main goal isn't to really lose weight. It's just to feel better. So I put on here that I would prefer to lose one pound a day if I do lose weight. Um, so that is why they gave me one um, 1,690 calories. I've already used 170 this morning on my coffee, which y'all saw. Um, so I did two tablespoons of creamer for 70 calories and then two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream for 100 calories. So that is where I'm at. I think I'm about to go on a walk with Ashley because I did go, I was supposed to go to bungee this morning because I do bungee workout. And when I went to get up to get dressed, I remembered that we had a maintenance guy coming. So I had to cancel that and I'll probably just go Wednesday instead of, I usually go Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, but I'm probably just going to go this Wednesday. Um, but yeah, I am going to get my day started. That is my little spill on 75 soft and let's get our day started Okay, ladies, you're hearing it from me first Hoka's are so comfortable, but they're probably the most ugliest shoe I have ever seen in my entire life and they are so expensive But they are really so not that expensive like one something I mean, that's expensive for a uh, pair of shoes. I like, mean, it is, but I must like you have more expensive shoes than that that you wear to work out. Like your your Nike Air Maxes, I feel like are more expensive. That's true, but they're so ugly. They're not bad, but they're ugly, and they're just so like when I'm walking. Honestly, like, I, I'm like, you know what? I I honestly think they look adorable here, on you. Do my OOTD. Okay, so OOTD this morning because we're looking so cute and fresh for our walk. So I have on this Lulu cute shirt. I have on Athletica leggings. I have on a blue like tank top. We already saw a crop top so that matches my shoes. And we're just looking so Let cute. Let me see the shoes. And these are the Hoka's, which Drew was just talking about. And honestly, I don't think they're ugly. I think they look adorable on you. Well, it's because I'm wearing them. That's true. Anything you put on, I think is adorable because you're adorable. Thank you. Gabe's OOTD. Oh, hey! No, I'm just kidding. All right, look, guys. So I'm actually going to the bow shop today. It's getting close to bow hunting season, so I'm gonna go get my my bow on. But uh, <laughs> so I'm kind of dressed and comfortable. I've got some hay dudes on. I love these hay dudes. I'm um, actually, guys. Hey, everybody that asked me where's Gabe Goose clothes. Where's Gabe Goose clothes? 
I go to Dillard's most of the time. This outfit is Walmart. This whole outfit, besides like the Hey Dudes, obviously, but shirt and pants are, are Walmart. Let's check it out. My favorite shorts are actually made by Richard, or Russell, I always say Richard, Russell from Walmart, and it's like these ones with a little slit, and it's got like the breathe, these things are so comfy, I've got- They look like bougie shorts. They do, and they look nice, and they were only like 12 bucks. I've got black, gray, a bunch of them, I love these. So there's these. Potential spam, stop spamming me, broski. And then, um, wear my Apple Watch, obviously gotta have the wedding man on, you know what I'm saying, I'm a married man, you know what I'm saying. I got uh, my Costas. <laughs> And then this hat, actually, I got when we were out in um, in Gulf Shore Southern Cast Club. It's like a, a fishing brand, so that's cool. And then my shirt, guys, also Walmart exclusive. No, I don't know if it's exclusive, but it's just a Carhartt shirt. I love these Carhartt shirts, and I feel like they're long. Like I feel like when I'm doing stuff, I lift my arm and my belly drops down a little bit. So these, <laughs> this one's got a good length on it where it's not going to do that. If I'm drawing back and shooting my bow, I cover it up. So this one I'm wearing with a bow shot, I'm going to go... Uh, let some arrows fly and it's gonna be a great day. Yeah. Also, I want to mention my husband did the dishes this morning and fixed the garbage disposal. And he's fixed the garbage disposal and he did the dishes. I did. So, so the maintenance man came. I already told him the maintenance man was supposed to come. So, the maintenance man came for the garbage disposal. I didn't know. Okay, look, guys. I didn't know. Oh, learning lesson to all you guys and women out there. Check this out. Apparently, these black things come right out and you can see the inside of your garbage disposal. This I was not aware of. So I, didn't, I couldn't see what was in there. Well, the guy comes and he's like, hey, uh, it's not gonna be covered in a warranty, but it's just clogged with a bunch of carpet. Someone does a deep clean on the carpets and she accidentally dropped one of the buckets in here and it went in there. Um, usually we don't- Kirby. Put, usually we don't put them in the sink. But anyways, I'm just rambling. Um, but he told me, hey man, the, I'm just trying to explain why we had me fix it, but the guy didn't come out. He said, look, he goes, that's probably what's wrong with it. And if you take a wooden spoon and go like this and unjam the plate and clean it out, it'll work. He said, but if I do it, since it's not covered under warranty, since y'all kind of did that to it, he goes, it'll be like 150 bucks. He goes, you can just clean it out and do it yourself, take like five, 10 minutes and save money. I was like, oh, we'll just do that. So I told him thank you, gave him a tip, let him leave. And then I went ahead and got busy on this and took like, I think five minutes, cleaned it out, took a wooden spoon, unjammed the plate, and then whoop, it works. So anybody that's having garbage disposal issues, check your garbage disposal, see if it's clogged. From your wife. From your wife. And then, um, or whoever. And then unjam your- And with a white spot, Colby's OOCD is her coily, coily hair. And Bruiser is a gray boy. Oh, yeah. and we were supposed to bring them to the groomers, we thought today, but and it's, it's actually not Wednesday. Wednesday. So. Cause Kirby's looking a little curly here. She, she don't really have it's any mats or anything. It rained, and then it rained, and then she got in the water, and then it rained again. And Kirby is our rough and tough girl. Like, I want her to be a bougie girl, but she's a rough and tough That's girl. That's what I think is funny. Everybody thinks because we Drew calls her material girl. She's not. She literally is rolls in the mud. She's beautiful. Her mama's sweet girl. And then, okay, so this right here is rough and tough dirt. Bruiser is water baby. He literally swims. And this is a mama baby. Then mama baby, Moosey Pipey Glenn. This is mommy But knows. also, Pipey's kind of just lazy baby. Yeah, he is. He laid back baby. He goes, guys, to the backyard where there is literally shade. Okay, so during the day, there's always shade somewhere. So across right here, you can see the shade. You can see the shade where the fence has got on the grass. He will walk out into the grass, use the business, and then go to where that fence line's got the shade. And okay, this is for everybody being rude to me. Ashley just got Burger King and I didn't even get anything. I did. I said no twice. I offered to pay and everything. Okay, y'all, it is time for a snack. And I'm getting used to not looking at myself, but looking at the camera. Don't look at yourself, look at the camera. So it is currently 2.38. Can you see that on our Alexa? It is 2.38 and I am having a snack. So I had the Felicia combo for breakfast. What's going on with the lighting? I had the Felicia combo for breakfast, and that's all I've had today because it was super filling. That breakfast is the best. Um, I really want this, but I don't know the calorie count on this. It's one of these things from Kroger. It has a hard-boiled egg, a cheese, and chocolate-covered almonds. It's 300 calories for the snack pack, but I've literally not had that many calories today. So I feel like this is appropriate to eat and have a snack. But because I'm the snack queen, 
myself i have like a lot of these so i also have these balance breaks this one is one of my favorites it has pepper jack colby jack and natural cheeses with ritz crackers these are um 170 calories and then this one is tomato basil with mozzarella cheese and fontina cheese with the um tomato basil crackers which is my favorite and these are 160 um this one does have more protein because it has a hard-boiled egg in it with the chocolate and the cheese so i probably should eat this one but i don't have the hot sauce that i like to eat with this egg so i'm gonna go ahead and do this one um normally i like to eat that one that snack pack with a uh, hot sauce but we don't have any hot sauce right now and i won't enjoy it if it doesn't have hot sauce so i'm gonna have one of these for 160 calories so we're gonna go ahead and go into my my fitness pal app we're going to go to snacks oh and for my snacks i'm only supposed to have 100 and 60 calories worth of snacks so look at there so for my snacks they have it where can you see where i'm only supposed to have 169 um 160 okay i'm supposed to have 160 they're like they help me pick out like my meal plan so basically i'm only supposed to have 169 calories worth of a snack so i still have nine calories left i might find me a snack um and then for um dinner it says i have 507 for lunch 507 and breakfast 507 for breakfast i went over quite a bit i had 568 calories worth of food but as y'all can tell i had my coffee at 750 this morning and then i had my breakfast lunch brunch whatever you want to call it at 8 55 i mean 10 55 a.m i can't speak um 10 55 a.m so basically 11 o'clock which is like brunch and so i feel like that was kind of my lunch in a way and so that was so feeling that it's got me full until three o'clock in the afternoon well it's 2 42 basically three o'clock so i'm gonna have my little snack and then for dinner i'm making taco soup because it just sounds so good like i don't know taco soup just sounds amazing so we're gonna have taco soup for dinner and then since i have so many calories left over i might could do a dessert we can might get some like low-fat ice cream or something but i'm just gonna eat this little chicken cracker snack okay so it is 3 55 in the afternoon and i'm starting to feel a little bit hungry so i'm gonna go ahead and start prepping um dinner so dinner probably can cook for like an hour or two so by the time dinner is done it'll be probably 4 35 o'clock so it'll be perfect so i'm gonna take a pound of extra lean ground beef i don't really like to do um ground turkey or ground chicken it just doesn't taste the same to me and so if i can have a serving size which is 112 grams for 140 calories i'm gonna do that so i got the extra lean ground beef um i have a can of pinto beans i have a can of diced um uh green chilies a can of rotel but it's
So I'm currently on hold with the hospital for Gabe. Y'all, don't even ask. Like, it's ridiculous. The stuff that we do every day with these people is insane. Um, but I am feeling snacky and hungry and I'm still cooking. And this peanut butter I've had for a while and I haven't tasted it yet. It's the Java Jam Nerdy Nuts peanut butter. Um, for two tablespoons, it's 150 calories. I'm literally just gonna have a little taste. So I'm just gonna count it for like maybe 80 or 50 calories. I'm gonna look up on the nutrition like what it actually could be. I'm actually nervous to try this one because it has like liquid at the top. But it's a coffee, I almost said coffee popcorn. It's a coffee uh, peanut butter. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, this looks disgusting. Look, it's like wet with, with um, coffee in it. Uh, I don't know guys, this kind of freaks me out. Why does it have chunks? Like, looks like black pepper. We're, we're gonna taste it, okay? Let's taste it. Okay, was not a fan of the coffee one, so I'm gonna give that one to my mama, but this, this is a work of art. It's amazing. So this is the ice cream cake one. It's literally so good. It has that thick consistency, it has cake, sprinkles, icing, like, I might have two tablespoons of this one because it's just so good. Mmm, now that, that's amazing. So this one is, Two tablespoons is 140 calories. So I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna count as one tablespoon. That's just so good. Nothing against this one. I just didn't really prefer it. But this one is 10 out of 100. Uh, 100 out of 10. It's so good. Also, I'm actually gonna have two tablespoons because it's that good. My sister-in-law has a code for Nerdy Nuts. I will tag it down below for you guys. They're absolutely amazing. I love almost every single flavor I ever had. This one is not bad, like I said. I don't want to think that it was gross or something. It just wasn't my favorite. And it had like a weird wet texture. It just wasn't for me. But this, y'all, is so good. C is for cookie. I love all the ones with like um, marshmallow fluff and like cookies and candy in it. It's so good. And two tablespoons for 140 calories. That is not bad. So I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, y'all, dinner is served. It is six o'clock and we are eating dinner. Lovey is home and he is having, you putting string cheese in it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna enjoy dinner. Hello, guys. What's going on? So we are on the way to Hobby Lobby. I know, I know, this is a vlog about 75 Soft, but I've been on TikTok all day and all day I've seen videos about how Hobby Lobby is 90% off and these people are getting like millions of things for $20. So we're on the way to Hobby Lobby to see what we can find because our Hobby Lobby never has anything good. So I'm Honestly, hopeful. our Hobby Lobby always be slacking. So I'm hopeful that I'll find something good. Um, I did want to say though, I had a whole thing of what I had for lunch and like brunch for like, I had clips of it and it's completely gone, we're removed. I had videos of me playing with the dogs outside, running around, removed. I had a video of me sitting, like talking for like at least 10 minutes, ranting about 75 soft and everything like that. It's gone, it's like wiped gone. I don't know what I did with it. So, I don't know what this video is turning into, but it's day one and we're already off to a great start. So, yeah. yay. All right, there we go. All right, so right now me and Drew are in Hobby Lobby. We are heading to look for some deals. I can't find any of the 90% off. I can't find any of the 90% off. You know why? Watch. Everybody done bought it all. 
The ninety percent off? As you said that? Pink Christmas. Look. Okay, that is pretty cool. Do you want one? If you guys don't know, going to Hobby Lobby as a kid was like Christmas. All right, we're recording. We are live broadcasting here in Hobby Lobby. Drew Basham is trying to get the sales 90% off. <laughs> Stop. I think there's been a huge wave of buying because the R's 90% off sale is gone. It has diminished. Okay, please stop. <laughs> huh? Please stop. Can I just say how beautiful you are? Please, I love you. Thank I you. I love you. Stop. I missed you today. You're embarrassing me. I'm embarrassing you? <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Here in Hobby Lobby. If you want 90% off deals, you should have ran yesterday because today they gone. GameStop. Usually I could care less and I don't get embarrassed. But guys, I don't think you understand how loud he is. He's so loud and all the judgmental like grandmas are looking at him. No, they're just looking at me because they like what they see. Alrighty, Drew is currently M-I-L-H. No, M-I-H-L. Drew is M I H L right now, missing in Hobby Lobby, but we just found her. Uh, Say hi, everybody. I didn't get nothing. Look, there's that's actually from that's my for my apartment. Yeah, because yeah, so I'm gonna hold on to it for like a long time. Yeah, look at this. She's gonna just Thirty percent off, thirty four ninety nine. What a steal! What a deal! <laughs> that actually sounds like a pretty good bag uh, price. Well, you, I really want this. How much is that? Yes. Oh, um, way too much. Five hundred dollars? Uh, no, thank you. Gotta go. Got to go. I got to go. Ninety percent off. Okay, friends. It is eight sixteen at night. Well, now eight seventeen, and I am ending my day here. So today was not a normal eating day for me. I don't know what was going on with me. I went and I worked out or I did my walk, and then I had that breakfast combo, which I don't know if you guys saw, because my video literally I, I like filmed so many videos, and then all of a sudden they're just like completely deleted off my camera. It's very frustrating and confusing. Um. But I had that breakfast, uh, like brunch, and it was very filling. Um, so basically, I'm ending the night with 619 calories left over for the day. If y'all can see that. So that is what I'm ending my night with. I don't know, I might probably have a little dessert later or something. I don't know. Um, but that's what I'm ending my night with. Um, I had 76 carbs out of 216. I went over two grams of fat and I have 30 grams of protein left that I should have still ate, which is pretty good for the first day, I guess. I prefer to eat a lot more during the day. I'm kind of like weird that I didn't eat that much. I usually eat a lot more. But like I said, today was just like a weird day for me. Like I've just been feeling funny. Like my head kind of hurts today. It's been feeling weird. Um, but yeah, I am pretty proud of myself today. I did pretty good for the first day of 75 soft. So I'm going to try to vlog every single day. And if I can, I'll probably do like three days in a row in one video or two days in a row in one video or whatever. Um, but yeah, and we went into Hobby Lobby, guys. I didn't buy anything. I did so good. I've been doing really good about like going into stores and not buying stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end my night at 8. Where is it? I'm going to take a shower and lay in bed with my husband and my puppies because that is my favorite thing to do um, at 8.18 at night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.